Hi. Hello to everyone. And I am excited about today because we're going to be talking about a better life starts with a better morning and a better night. So, did you know you can make your life better? It can get better starting tonight and tomorrow. That's exciting. Do you know you have control over your life? So, what are we talking about? I'm really talking about a morning routine and an evening routine. Now you say, oh Sandy, that is so simple. That's so ridiculous. Why are you even talking about this? Because as a mother who had four kids at home and a husband and my mother-in-law who lived with me for 25 years, I know what crazy town looks like. Does your morning ever look like crazy town? Does your night ever look like crazy town? And do you ever think you are the craziest citizen of crazy town? Uh-huh, uh-huh. I know what that looks like and feels like. So, one of the things I have learned that is if I can just take control of something, take control of something in my life, I will feel better. And so, guess what? You cannot control everything, but you can control your morning routine and your evening routine. And the thing I've discovered is that when I live in crazy town, I ain't happy and ain't nobody else happy. Because you know, when mom ain't happy, ain't nobody else happy. That's so true, isn't it? Because when mama's in crazy town, everybody tends to live there with her. It's amazing. So what we want to do is we want to talk about how can I make my life better? You can make your life better by it finally getting bad enough that you want to do something about it. I am that girl. I know what that means, and sometimes my life cycles into worse, and I get better, and then I do good, and then I have to cycle back down, and then I cycle back up. So, hey, we're imperfect. We just keep getting better every day, right? I'm getting better. Hashtag, I am getting better. So, what I wanted to talk to you about is the fact that you can create a morning routine and an evening routine that will give you calm, orderliness, peace, grace, that you can truly enjoy because you know what? You are your own personal boss. This is your skin, your eyes, your ears, your mouth, your body, your brain. You are responsible for it 100%. And if you need to take control of an area that's in crazy town, then by all means, go ahead and create that calm and that order that you need. So this is what, and, and why am I telling you this? Because I, you know, I don't teach theory. We talk about what we live in. And so really for the last probably um, four weeks, I have changed my whole morning routine and evening routine. It's still not perfect yet. It is still growing and getting better, but it is so much better. And I am so much better and I am so happy about it. So I just want to encourage you in it. So I would say really start with one or the other. If you think you can bite off two bites at one time, then by all means, go ahead. But I would encourage you maybe just to start with one bite. What do you want? What is crazier, your mornings or your evenings? What's more discouraging, your mornings or your evenings? What do you wish could get better, your mornings or your evening? Pick one. And so when you pick one, this is what I would like to encourage you to do. I'd like for you to pick a time that you want to be finished by. So in other words, if you have to leave the house in the mornings by eight o'clock, then eight o'clock is your deadline. And then you back everything you want to do up to however early you have to get up to be able to make it finish. I'm a very spontaneous person. And I can tell you, sometimes I stay in rush and overwhelm, and y'all know that's been a big word for me, is rush and overwhelm. It does not work. You cannot live there. It will drive yourself crazy. So you have to give yourself enough time to get done all the things that you want to get done with margin, with plenty of white space around the outside edge of your book so that you don't go crazy. Margin, extra breathing room, extra space. <sighs> so you're going to say, let's say you want to have your morning routine finished by eight o'clock. So you're just going to sit down and say, well, what do I want to do in this evening routine? I mean, this, let's say you want to do your morning routine. My apologies. 
You want to finish by 8 a.m. So what do you want to do? Do you want to have meditation time, a time when you read scripture? Uh, perhaps you want to have prayer time included in that, med more med meditation time. Uh, perhaps you want to do some exercise. Maybe you want to have your shower, be totally dressed, everything be done by 8 a.m. So you just list all of these things that you want to do in the morning to make your morning beautiful. Uh, if you are a mother with young kids, or teenagers for that matter, strategize what do I need to do? How much time do I need to allot for breakfast? What kinds of breakfasts do I want to prepare? Um, do we have to pack lunches? I mean, with four kids all these years, all of my kids are adults and grown now, and they're doing their own morning routines, but it is a lot, and it really does put you in crazy town if you haven't figured it out. So list all the things you want to get done in the morning. Maybe you want to exercise. Maybe you want to... Um, just whatever the things are. Actually, I have my morning routine here. I have affirmations and goals that I say every morning. So about the things I'm doing. So if you have that, put that in there. Um, if you, whatever you want to do. If you want to make your coffee, take your vitamins, all those kind of things. I know it sounds simple, but if you leave something out, you will not have time for it. So what you want to do is start at the ending deadline of where you want to be finished for your morning routine. And then list everything you want to do and then go back and assign a time for it. So you want your prayer time to last for 10 minutes. You want your Bible study to last for 15 minutes. You want your exercise time to last for 30 minutes. You want your goals and affirmations to be 10 minutes. You want your shower to be and getting dressed with everything. Girl, you know, it takes us girls time to look good. So you have to figure out, I need a 50 minutes or I need a whole hour for it. And then you figure up that and then you have to allow margin. You have to give yourself breathing room so you don't get stressed. Do you have to prepare breakfast? Do you have to do this? Do you have to do that? And so you make that schedule from that whatever your drop dead deadline is all the way up. And so perhaps you need to get up at 6.30 or perhaps you need to get up at 6 a.m. Or perhaps you need to get up at 5.30. I don't know. You decide but you have to decide the price of getting up early for me to have calm and peace in my life is worth whatever time I have to get up. Because you can take control of your life. You just start from your drop dead deadline where you have to be out the door or whatever it is you do. I work out of my home. So I have a drop dead deadline of when I have to be walking into my office starting on my daily routine. So the middle of your day can look different every day, but your morning routine will give you calm and consistency and constancy by you having a morning routine. And then if you want to do a an evening routine, your morning routine always looks the same. Your evening routine always looks the same. And in the middle of your day, things change and you make it what you want to be. But give yourself ample time so you do not have rush. If you want to be in bed asleep by 10, then what time do you really want to be in bed and doing your evening routine so that you can turn the lights off at 10 o'clock? What do you want to do? Do you want to uh, say your goals and affirmations again? Do you want to have a five-minute prayer? Do you want to um, read 15 minutes in a book to grow and get better? Do you want to um, check Facebook? Uh, for 10 minutes before you go to bed. You get to choose what you get to do during your morning routine and your evening routine. You get to choose it. You are the boss. This is an area where you decide, I'm taking control of my morning and my nights, and I am leaving crazy town. For years and years and years, my nighttime routine included my kids getting baths, putting book bags by the door, picking out clothes for the next morning, um, putting a load of laundry on before I went to bed. My morning routine always included uh, putting laundry in the dryer, folding the load that was in there, putting another load on the wash. I'm not joking because it would be more than I could handle if I had to figure out, well, you know, it'll just happen. 
Mm-mm-mm. It will not just happen. Who can say, I know that, Sandy. I've tried to wait for things to happen. They don't happen. You have to make them happen. But this is a way that you control it. You manage it. You make it look like you want it to look. So calm, peace, joy, control. No rush, no overwhelm comes because you say, my day is so important because my days make my life. My life is going to be better because my day is going to be better because my morning's going to be better and my evening is going to be better. I am taking control of my life. I am leap. Bye-bye, crazy town. Hello, calm and peace. So, much love to you. Give me some reports back. Oh, and also, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I will go and put a link below. I would so love for you to subscribe. I'm going for a hundred subscribers because I need to get a name. I want to get a name and I can only get a name when I get to a hundred subscribers. And I'm already at 76. Thank you, Jesus. And thank you all my friends. Much love to you. Have a great day and a great week. Take care. Bye.